Pixel phones have become almost completely synonymous with AI, and while there's no official count, it's fair to say there could be well over 100 different AI-powered features baked into the Pixel ecosystem. But with that many capabilities, I think it can be completely overwhelming to know where to even start. And that's why I wanted to make this video for you guys in the first place. Not to cover a ton of little AI gimmicks, but instead, I wanted to give you five real, genuinely helpful features that I think every Every single pixel owner should 100% be using. To me, I find the features that I'm about to show you are the ones with true real world applications that are easy to use, don't require a ton of setup or fumbling through settings, just simple. AI features that should genuinely make your smartphone experience better. So if you have a Pixel device or really any Android phone, because a lot of these will work across the aisle, let's dive into some of the AI features that are truly worth your time. And please don't forget to subscribe to the 9to5 Google YouTube channel because we have a lot more content like this coming your way. The first one I wanna show you is probably the easiest and most accessible feature on this list with Circle to Search. And yes, while this is available on many modern Android phones, it's such a fundamental AI tool that I had to put it here first and foremost. At its core, Circle to Search allows you to search for anything on your screen by just circling, highlighting, or tapping on that object. For me, however, the most powerful use case by far isn't about search at all actually it's all about text and the ability to instantly copy and paste text from any image has been an absolute lifesaver i use this all the time when shipping packages as a primary example typically when i do send out a package i get a paper receipt and then i have to manually type out that long convoluted tracking number it's a huge pain and simply inconvenient to type out but with circle to search i can just snap a photo of my tracking number, activate circle to search by long pressing the gestures bar at the bottom of the screen, circle the tracking number, and then I'm able to copy it into my messages or my notes, which is a huge time saver. Another great example actually is for Wi-Fi passwords. Very recently, I was helping an older family member who got a new router and they didn't know their password. Like the cable company didn't help them with that when they were setting it up. So I took a photo of the sticker on the back of the router, circled the password, and then copied it right into to our texting chat. Again, super simple. It made my life so much easier by not having to manually type everything in. And in general, it's a subtle addition that every single Android or Pixel user should be using, no questions asked. Next, let's talk about a set of features that showcase the very best of the Pixel experience with the entire AI calling suite. These are Pixel exclusive features, might I add, and these features alone make me recommend a Pixel over any other phone on the market. Market. And while yes, some other manufacturers are starting to catch up, Pixel has had the biggest head start and I think it works the best on a Google device. Specifically, I'm talking about call notes, direct my call, and hold for me, which all together form an incredibly powerful toolkit that takes a lot of frustration out of the phone calling experience. Call notes, records, transcribes, and provides an AI-generated summary of your phone calls, which is really useful for a few reasons. For example, I have a life coach that I work with to broadly talk out my life's issues. We always have our meetings over the phone, and using call notes for our sessions is perfect because it remembers the important parts of our call without me having to meticulously take notes for the entire hour that we have. It can also be very useful for highly detailed phone calls with customer support for example, typically they may give you instructions over the phone and having a recording or summary that you can look back on to refer has been very helpful during my time with Pixel. Then there's direct my call, which is really useful for when you have to call a business. With this feature activated, it can transcribe the automated voice menu tree in real time and it turns the options into on-screen buttons with labels that you can tap on to select. So you don't have to go through the pain of having to memorize the options for yourself. This phone does all of that on your behalf, which is a truly smart aspect of this phone. And finally, Hold For Me is a great little addition that does exactly as the name implies. When you're placed on hold, your Pixel will wait on the line for you and notify you as soon as a real person picks up. When that happens, you'll get a little UI element and a warning so you can be ready to continue that phone call. Huge time saver, if you ask me. 
<laughs> Moving on to more advanced AI, we have to talk about Gemini Live with video. This feature essentially lets you share your smartphone's camera feed directly with the Gemini AI, allowing it to act as a real-time conversational partner that can see and understand whatever you point your camera at. The best word to describe this experience is seamless. The latency is incredibly low, so you can have rapid back and forth conversations. I use it all the time for do-it-yourself help around the house or really just anything in my life that I need to show to the AI and get a quick opinion on. If I'm trying to identify a part in my car or figure out an issue with an appliance, I can just fire up Gemini Live with video and start asking it questions. Most of the time, I find that it's accurate in identifying what I'm asking about or at the very least can get me started in the right direction. I do also use it for exploring the world around you. If I see an interesting building or a landmark that I don't recognize, I can just open the camera and get information instantly. So a good example is this. You can point the camera at a restaurant and typically Gemini Live with video can identify it and tell you the hours, tell you the best dishes on the menu, and give you a quick rundown on the general experience. And basically within less than 20 seconds, you know the most high level important parts of that restaurant. So really the best part I love about Gemini Live with video is that I no longer have to go out of my way to describe something to the AI in order for it to get what I'm talking about. I can just show it whatever I'm curious about instead, which makes the whole interaction feel very natural, fluid, and more like a conversation with a knowledgeable assistant. This next one isn't really a Pixel exclusive per se, but it's a very important Gemini feature that every single person with access needs to know about. One of the most useful features is the ability to upload documents like PDFs directly into Gemini and have a conversation about it. And I bring this up because it's been by far the most helpful use of Gemini to this day. Just in the past six months alone, I've uploaded apartment leases, legal contracts, insurance policy documents, financial statements, resumes, articles for stories that I'm in the middle of researching, portions of textbooks or educational resources, user manuals, recipes, medical records, you name it, and I've definitely uploaded it to Gemini. And the reason I say this is because Gemini can take these information-dense documents and help make understanding them so much more easier. So if you have a 20-page apartment lease, for example, with a ton of complicated rules, you can just upload it to Gemini and ask, what are the biggest red flags? What are the most important rules? Can I have a dog? what's the late fee, and so much more. The best part is you can ask Gemini to show you exactly where in these documents these answers are coming from. And this is so incredibly important because it allows you to verify the information you're receiving for yourself and it makes sure you're not getting any typical AI slop misinformation. You can see exactly where it is, no questions asked. I've used this so many times to make sure my understanding of a document is crystal clear. Of course, if you've been using Gemini or AI chat bots in general, you've probably already been doing this, but for those who are a little bit newer to AI in general, this is immediately the most useful way you can engage with it. And lastly, the final feature that I think is super important for you guys is Gemini's most recently implemented image generation model, commonly known as Nana Banana. If you're into tech news at all, you've definitely heard of it by now, as it's gone viral lately for its ease of use, high quality results, and the fact that it's free through the Gemini app, making it super accessible to everyone. And while it's been great seeing the results, I primarily see everyone using it for entertainment purposes, memes, and little jokes here and there, which is perfectly fine, but I think I found a few practical use cases that the average consumer can take advantage of. For me, the best use case on a practical level is to visualize a big change in your life before you commit. For instance, my parents were redecorating their living room and they asked my opinion on furniture and colors. Of course, I'm not an interior designer or decorator by any stretch of the imagination, but I was able to take a photo of the living room and ask Gemini questions like, what would this room look like with a gray rug and gray tables? What would this room look like with a green wall instead of a white wall? How do you recommend that we organize decorations? And in each instance, Gemini was able to give me something to look at, so I had a solid idea on what the 
potential changes could look like. And this isn't just with home decoration. You can do this with a lot of aspects of your life too. Like show me what this tattoo would look like on my arm. Show me what I would look like wearing this jacket or show me what my car would look like with red rims. It's a really useful tool for visualizing a big change without having to take any kind of risk and is by far one of the most practical use cases for Gemini's nano banana feature. So my friends, there you have it. Five AI powered features that I truly believe move well beyond the marketing hype and offer real tangible benefits for the average person. To me, these are the tools that truly make Pixel phones feel a bit smarter. Of course, keep in mind that the availability for some of these features can vary by country and language. That said, if you're in the US and speak English, you should have access to most, if not every single one of these. But now, I want to hear from you guys. What do you think of this list that I put together? What is your most used Pixel AI feature? Is there an AI powered feature that I should have talked about that I might have missed in this video? Please let me know all your thoughts down in the comments below as I'm always super curious to hear what the Android community is thinking. Until next time, this has been Jordan Floyd with 9to5Google. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.